engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway love Brendam Docks. There's always lots of work to keep them busy, and they enjoy seeing new arrivals onto the island of Sodor. An exciting new arrival was an engine Cranky the Crane was unloading. It was heavy. This makes my chain ache, groaned Cranky. This is Harvey, the crane engine, Sir Topham Hatt said proudly. The other engines thought Harvey looked strange. Harvey was happy to be on the ground. He didn't like dangling from Cranky's arm at all. These gentlemen are the railway board, Sir Topham Hatt said. Tomorrow, Harvey will give them a demonstration. If it goes well, he will join the railway. What's a dimmer station? Demonstration, said Thomas. It's when you show off what you can do. Like when Thomas and I have a race, said Bertie. Vroom, vroom. That evening, Thomas had just returned from a hard day's work. He saw Harvey park near the sheds. Harvey could hear the other engines talking about him. This made him sad. Harvey's different, said Henry. He doesn't even look like an engine, said Edward. Surely Sir Topham Hatt won't let him pull coaches, sniffed Gordon. He's just cranky on wheels, said James. He's not taking my mail, said Percy. Thomas felt sorry for Harvey. Don't worry. Sometimes it takes time to make new friends. But Harvey wasn't sure he wanted to stay where no one wanted him. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt sent the engines off to a useful day's work. Maybe my coming here wasn't such a good idea, sir, Harvey chuffed sadly. Nonsense, said Sir Topham Hatt. But the engines don't like me. I'm too different. Different is what makes you special. And that made Harvey feel better. Out on the branch line, Percy was having trouble with the trucks. Faster we go, faster we go, pull him along, don't let him slow. Help! cried Percy. His driver applied the brakes. But it was too late. He went off the rails at Bulgy's Bridge. <laughs> Luckily, no one was hurt. Bertie arrived and was pleased Percy was all right, but he was also very cross. You've blocked the road, Bertie snapped. He was worried he wouldn't get the gentlemen of the railway board to the demonstration on time. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he went straight to Harvey. I need you to rescue one of my engines. I'll do my best, sir, Harvey said bravely, and he set off immediately. Harvey soon arrived and went to work. time, Percy was back on the tracks. The gentlemen of the railway board were very impressed. That was the best demonstration of all. The gentlemen of the railway board have decided you shall join the railway. Oh, thank you, sir, said Harvey proudly. That night, Harvey heard the engines talking again. This time, it was different. Well done, Harvey, said Gordon. Very useful, said James. You can take my mail, said Percy. You see, said Thomas, different can be good. All the engines agreed. Welcome to the Sodor Railway, they called. Harvey smiled happily. <laughs> <laughs>